Right, so what we're going to be doing today, chat, if you're new to the channel, uh, it will literally be a coaching series. If you do want to want me to coach your games, there's a special ch uh, thing in the Discord. There's a place called Overwatch Coaching. You can put your name in here, chat, and then I will coach your games, okay? So if you want me to do that, I prefer if it was comp. But again, if you want to do quick play, I will be doing quick play. So before we jump into this, chat, I know I'm rambling. Just because it's the first ever coaching series, I just know. Now, I am not a professional. I am literally, uh, I would say I'm a diamond player. Uh, I've had about 1,900 hours in Overwatch, but that's literally where it caps off. I, I thought it'd be a bit of fun to to, to show um, just my advice on Overwatch, because I've put a lot of time into the game. Eli's in this game, I see that as well, so Eli, it's going to be a little bit of a double double uh double the view here but yeah it's just for a bit of fun i don't know how this is gonna go chat but if you're excited let me know drop a like down below and let's just jump into this right so as mercy you know the main job to do you want to be healing i'm looking for some big heals to that now this is quite low rank i would say because you are new so you'd be playing with new players here uh first of all i want to say there'd be a lot of pause and first of all I want to criticize the enemy team yet you should not be outside the spawn door i think this is general knowledge but if you are here this is very bad for for a couple reasons chat your respawn would be so close all you have to do is come out the, out the spawn and, and keep going and keep going so if you are if you are defending outside the spawn door you're gonna get wrecked eventually even if you win like five team fights in a row there's going to be a time where you just get wrecked uh welcome in tropical it's nice to see you again that's just my two cents uh, it, this is a bit of a weird game we've got a genji diving you nice we, we get out of dodge uh now okay first first criticism here first criticism right the ash might die here most likely so your ash there instead of getting your pistol out as mercy you are not a dps staff again not 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 trying to be that guy you are not a dps i'm assuming that ash dies yet okay that's a bit random that's a bit random okay so fair enough at the low rank i'll eat my words but what you have to do there you have instead of getting your pistol out to do damage uh literally heal your ash the the genji was focusing your ash there um again if i can rewind this I, I, I get better at this chat but look genji comes straight for your ash there so literally what you have to do is heal your ash through that damage see so in a higher rank game that genji would literally just one shot and swipe ash out the existence then they'd be on to you ash will protect you hopefully in a, in a in a good game environment ash will protect you there so yeah you should have been healing the ash uh and not doing damage to genji the only time you should get your pissed out is mercy one if you're in your ult two if you're alone but you still want to try and fly to someone go on eli getting the big uh the big kills there so nice yeah you definitely want to be here your positioning's good right now not gonna lie your positioning's good i appreciate that Hey, uh, another thing to note, chat again. Uh, if if you are if you are in this position, you can play a little bit back. You know, your healing beam goes quite far. You don't have to be standing on the actual person. Uh, do you have to? You could you could literally be behind this wall, which you're kind of doing now, and healing. Uh, so just because you're behind cover, um, nice damage boost and the uh, damage boost in there. That's good. He like gets hooked. It should be fine. You are doing the correct things here, healing the tank up. Um, okay, bad positioning from Eli there. Sorry. So that's gonna happen. What you what you don't want to do here is go in and res. This would be the worst thing you can do. Um, as you're healing as well, you can look around. You don't have to have your aim on that specific character. So when you're damage boosting and it, it, look around, look up top, look where your team is. One for a viable fly away to get away and two uh, just because they might be low and you might need to heal them again make sure you're always looking around you don't have to be looking at your character uh again a valk is possible here but you're down a tank so it wouldn't uh so again she drops good res I, I would say that's a good res you didn't cover that's good that's good uh Get away from the nades, get away from the nades. Okay, you shouldn't have got burnt there, Giraffe. You should have, you should have uh, maneuvered out of the way, but hey, a lot going on. Bob has been popped. 
it looks like you're winning this. Bob is actually carrying. Bob is the main tank, dude. Okay, Bob, Bob carries there. Eli's back. You didn't use Valk, which is fine. I, I probably would have used Valk there, but yeah, you didn't need it. No, yeah, 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 that's right. Hey, you do, you're doing right there. You're doing right. You're doing right. Fair enough. You got your pistol. Shouldn't be in the nades, but it's okay. You know what? You're doing all right here, you know? You could be possibly in a video in the future. Uh, so, Eli actually ult here. Okay. We are actually holding on to Val quite a bit here. But, again, you, you don't need to use it. You, you, are, uh, you are winning. Uh, I said you were playing Discord. Do you want to watch another? Yeah, no worries. I'll, I'll be doing them in order from what, what they send. Make sure you send in the correct channel. Um... Yeah, so, so far... Okay, we pop out there. Okay, yeah. So, you've, do, you've done good here, but my only critique there, Giraffe, which, which you're kind of doing now, uh, when you pop out, fly fly behind cover. Don't be out in the open, because if someone ults here, if Ash has got good accuracy, they just whip you out the game like it's nothing. Obviously, at that rank, that probably won't happen. So when you pop out, you want to fly up and probably to the right over here. Hopefully, you guys can see my cursor. Uh, the beam is long. Now, because Genji's, ult Genji's altered, they're Genji, you want to be far away from that, because as Genji's, uh, Genji's literally target you. So, you need to be off away, which you are right now, but around some cover. Just healing up who's Genji is uh, doing it, which you have. That's very good. So, overall, I think that's a good Val. I think that is a good Val. Okay, Eli drops there. Um. Okay, so, you, Bob, yeah, okay, Bob gets popped on Eli. Uh, that happens. Okay, I don't mind you having your pistol out there. Time to back up. Okay. <laughs> Another critique. Uh, you should be running away as you're shooting. I know you're doing that, but like you need to be faster with that. Hug the wall. I know that that's like nitpicky though. You should not be 1v1 in the ash here. I don't <laughs> I don't know how you got that kill. Um you won't be seeing that at much higher ranks. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how you got the kill there, uh, rip rip ash. Again, you should not be reading this, but it's working somehow. Get off with the pistol. Okay, you're looking around, which is good. Eli gets a big pick. He should be winning this fight. But rem remember, like, the, you've seen someone critical up there. He might be actually asking for healing now, see? There you go. So when you're healing, make sure you're looking around. Okay, nice. Okay, yep. Another, another, another point there, chat. I know I'm like, this is really nitpicky right now. Uh, you seen that the um, Kuriko altered there. It is okay to let Bob die. Bob is literally, uh, you know, he, he's he's just there to to cause issues. Um, Bob should be the last of your problems when you're a healer. If he, you know, if there's no one to heal, a, then fair enough, do it. Um, again, there's no one to heal around you, so this is viable. But the only critique I have here is you fly into a creek hole. You are flying into a creek hole. These, all these people here, if they have a team here, it looks like there's this Jack. Uh, they will absolutely insta wreck you. You, it, this is like a back window. You don't want anything to do with this. You definitely never want to be frontlining as Mercy either. So what you should have done there, flew, realized you flew into danger, and then back straight up there. Again, the 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 thing giraffe with you so far, I can critique the most is know your beam's length. It goes so much further than you realize. You don't have to be on top of the hero. Like play at range. The damage boost in the Bob's viable. Bob's popping off right now. Nice little res. Nice little res. Okay, you're looking around. That's good. You can see Reaper going up top there, looking for a note. Looks like. Okay, do you have a... Do you have a roll? Yeah, this is working fine. Uh, you want to heal the Ash there, yeah. Okay, you, you could have possibly got... Okay. Comms would be good. But she had comms in this game. Okay, that soldier should be dead. Risky res, but you might get away with it. Okay, you know what? I never faltered risky res. 
in, in a higher level game, you would have okay, you would have died there. Um, okay, so I put I point out the mistakes here. Uh, the obvious one is he, he like the Valk's good. The Valk is fantastic. The Valk's are good, the right time to pop it. Uh, Eli dies. Obviously, that is your main tank. You should be looking to res that, but notice how the whole enemy team's here. You probably know this. Uh, you probably know this, but you should have definitely died going for this res. Because once you Valk, you're a big target. Every, all the DPS go for you. Um, to be fair, you, sh you you shouldn't have survived that. You shouldn't have survived that. I know you don't, but you shouldn't have survived that. So when you actually got that res off, what you should have done is looked for cover straight away. Looked for cover. So you survived, you come back. Instead of being out in the open just trying to dodge and weave, you should have flew into this. Uh, remember, you can see your teammates through walls. You know who you want to heal. You should have got back into into cover. Look through the wall. Regen a little bit of your health because no no in Valk you do regenerate health over time faster than uh, you do out of Valk. So yeah, you could have possibly survived that risky res. We all know, but yeah. I must return to my post. But I understand, like being new to the game, there's so much going on. There's like so much like learning. Um, Everything's like popping off. It's like you know, it's crazy. Again, I'm just, I'm just like, ho hopefully, I'm doing this right here. Again, first coaching chat. Oh, hopefully this. Oh, whoa, 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 chat. Whoa, 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 whoa. So Reaper dies here. Wait there, wait there. Wait there, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so my guy comes out of sport, he's got Death Blossom. So big brain play, he thinks, he thinks, you know what? <laughs> okay. Um, do not do this as Reaper. I'm assuming this is a misclick. <laughs> I don't, that, not more to be said about that. Uh, yeah, don't do that chat, that's pretty obvious even in bronze. He probably is away, but hey, we're not here to criticize him. He's probably new to the game, bless him. Okay, so we've got a soldier pick here. We should be pushing in. Eli, you sh Okay. So, what you need to do there, Eli, again, I know I'm not critiquing you. The best thing to do there once this happens is once you see that high noon, as a tank, you, you, you use that HP. Literally, you should have... Okay, you use your javelin there. Do you have it? Okay, no. Okay, fair enough. You didn't have that. You didn't have like that spinny blade. Um, fair enough. But again, even without that, you should have walked towards him. Eli, like, protect your team. Uh, you could, he, he's out in the open. Everyone should be taking fire. You just melt that guy. Like th that should not work. That high noon. If he like went in there, again, just use like his air uh, fortify. Gone in, headshot of them. Ash, Ash should not be missing these shots. Uh, it's she's uh, it looks like she hits a shot there Okay, luckily you only just lost your Kiriko. You didn't die there. Luckily You should be resin. Yeah, okay uh, This this looks like a lost fight. You should be backing up now Yeah, you should definitely be backing up here yeah. yeah, you're doing the right thing giraffe. You're doing the right thing. Yeah fly away. Yeah But once you had a dodge you don't need to go back in I mean, this is working right now, but I wouldn't recommend it. Y your best bet is just to wait for your tank to come back here, which you'd have overall. Uh, that McCree, you might die. Oh, no. Uh, you should be on Eli right now. You should be healing. Okay. Uh, you should be healing here. Hello, I am Bread. Welcome into the chat. Welcome into the chat. Uh, you should be healing. You should not have your pistol out here. Uh, Mercy is a healer. <laughs> As a healer, it's it's nice to get picks that are on you, but Mercy shouldn't really have a pistol out unless she's in Valk. Because again, I'll tell you why. There. If you if, if you if you still don't know, again, you probably know this. You're probably just having a bit of fun. Uh, Eli is half health. You are doing. Okay, you get about four shots. Eli's on critical. You get about four shots in there. 
Um, that's just gonna get healed up within a within literally a millisecond. That's done nothing. If if you lost Eli there due to that, that you would have been down a tank. A.K. You would have to wait uh, another thirty seconds to Eli to come back. That is time. Time is precious at Overwatch chat. Don't do it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, uh, Ash is down. What what I would do here, I would fly uh, and get in the corner here and res this. Let's see what you do. Okay, def de definitely res now. Uh, Eli has popped the ult. Now, I'm not going to lie, it's not the best ult, Eli. I know you're learning, uh, but it's not the best ult. Right now, while while enemies are backing off, this is the perfect time to res. But when you res, be behind the wall here. Um, let's see if you do it. Let's see if you do it. No, you don't do it. Okay, you could have got a res in there. Eli shouldn't have died either, but hey, uh, it looks like you've lost a team fight. What's happened? What? <laughs> so someone's back up there. Who is it? I'm assuming it's Reaper. I'm a. Who, who is it over there, chat? Yeah, it's Reaper. It's Reaper. We like to see it. We like to see it. What's he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> I didn't even clock onto that. <laughs> so Reaper's behind. Yeah. To be fair, Eli, you done a good. That that all was good. You distracted them. Okay. This is a random site. You don't really see this much, you know, watch. That's a Poggers moment. Well done, Reaper. He probably doesn't even know what he's doing. <laughs> Bless him. But yeah, uh, luckily that worked. <laughs> luckily that worked. I can't critique that. Uh, you shouldn't be pushing it now. They're onto it, Reaper. They're onto it. Hey, uh, Reaper's going to go die here. He could have reformed, but wait, we're not we're not critiquing him. Uh, we're critiquing uh, you, Giraffe. Uh, that, that's a weird backup. Try to be in the whole time, but forgot to type. Hello, Bailey. Welcome in. It's okay. Things happen. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, again. Again. Okay. You got very lucky there, Janaf. You got very lucky there. But again, what you should have done. I know you got a pick there. But you got very lucky. Eli possibly could have died there. You should have healed Eli. Eli would have turned and hopefully killed him. Um, or, he or heal Eli up. To the point where you know he's okay, and then you can take them out. Remember, you're not a DPS, but hey, good job. That worked out. So right here, you're just looking for heals right now. Push up, you won the fight. Uh, okay, Reaper's going in. Okay, yeah, we're not... I, I, would, I would break the Mercy players here. Okay, um... First of all, yeah, if, if you didn't... Kiriko's ult, fair enough, you, you can become a god. I'm not gonna criticize you. Uh, but, just know, Giraffe. So, as, as a tank player, again, Eli, if, you, if you're still in here, he's probably long gone, but hey, you might watch this back as a video. Always be looking at the feed. You hear the high noon, two of your... Both of your DPS die here. So that is an instant L, unless you can get a res off. What you should be doing here now, because you're Because you've lost two, and you know because of the ult noise, you know how close it is. It's literally right by you. Uh, what I would do here is find cover. Uh, when you heal and find cover, the beam's long. Go behind here. Even better, go out the doorway to your, to your left here. Uh, there's no way you should be standing still as Mercy. Never stand still, because that happens. Um, again, always look at the kill feed. If you don't, if you, it, as soon as you hear it's high noon chat, you know what's coming. We all know. Look at your feed once the bullet goes off. You want to know how many people die? Yeah, you should have been getting out there. But hey, it happens. It happens. I missed the kill feed. I need to watch it that moment. No, it's okay, dude. There's so much going on. Again. Like, the thing is with Overwatch chat, your eyes just got to be everywhere. Like, honestly, you got to be looking at your abilities. You got to be looking at your health. You got to be looking at the kill feed. You got to be looking around to see uh, uh, who's dying and all that. And who needs healing. Um. Again, I can see you getting damage in there. You've you've left your ash there, uh, giraffe. Um, again, sorry to keep pausing the chat. So you're getting damage, and you watch your ash take damage. You should have healed the ash up, or instead of doing damage, damage boost the ash because I I hate the ash. Ash is going to do more damage than mercy, you know. 
She has a DPS. You should have damage boosted the Ash and healed her up there. Again, that's a nitpicky though, don't worry. Hey, yeah, you popped the Valk. Uh, iffy Valk. Iffy Valk. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll read it. Okay, uh, you know what? Fair enough. We go back. So, that was a poor, poor Valk to be honest. And honestly, yes, I know. I can see what you're on about. Uh, so, when you're looking to pop Valk chat, you want to see who's low. Uh, obviously, you can't see it up here. Uh, you should have healed the Ash up. Here, you can see uh, the Reaper taking damage, and you can see the Kiriko. Now, Eli, run in like a, like a madman. Hello, Jag. Welcome in. Welcome in. Your Valky, your Valky, I understand to try and save um, Eli there. Eli, a bit of a tip. A bit of a tip. When you go in, don't go fully in. Like, you go in and go behind them there. You should be standing here while your team's fired in. Just so you can get out at any time, you know? You've put yourself in the corner, Eli, and everyone just turns on you, as they would. You should have been standing here. You probably know that, again, you know, in-game. it's So, you've out to try and save him there. That's fine. Again, fair enough. I wouldn't say it's about... It, it ultimately is about Valk. Um, but overall... Overall, I can see what he was trying to do. Um, first of all, once you've seen once you've seen Eli die, you should have been out there. You should have been back through the door you come, or fly, fly out where you did and fly out this door here. You shouldn't be sitting here trying to 1v5 the whole team. It's going to be a... Yeah. Okay, you sh we shouldn't be going in here. You've, you've down two DPS. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you, you was down two DPS here. I'm not going to pause it because you guys know. So what, what happened there was the old, uh, was the good old staggering. So what happens here, again, I, I just want to break it down. Uh, you die as Mercy. This leaves your DPS over here. Um, this leaves your DPS to die. Fair enough that what happens in Overwatch, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles. Eli should see that in the feed. He should back off. You should see that in the feed. You should back off or stay in the spawn. Um, if that makes sense, Giraffe. Uh, you need to regroup. Going in one by one is not the way. It is not the way, chat. <laughs> you will just get absolutely ricaroni, pepperoni, everything. Whatever whatever death is, you're getting it. Uh, so you should be coming back there, Eli. Uh, you you've physically watch your um, You physically watch your team go in. I, under I understand what you're trying to do here, Giraffe, because, like, you see your team needs healing, your team needs help. In that situation, you should have just let them die. That was bad positioning from Eli and Baldra. If that's how you say it, that was bad positioning. Um, you shouldn't be still here. You should be looking behind you to try and get out. You should be looking back at your spawn trying to get out, but we're 1v1 in the McCree. <laughs> you know what? I like to see it, Giraffe. I like to see it. You've got the accuracy, dude, but... Again, you should be going with your team. There we go. That, that's what you should be doing. Again, you shouldn't have your pistol on to you. Uh, the fruit bob in. Oh, okay. Eli, that was a bad old good sir. Alright, again, just going to break it down because this is uh, towards the end of the game. Right, so... Again, you've lost this team fight state away. Uh, you've got two people over here. Actually, no, this is the enemy team, sorry. I'm getting colorblind now. So, Reaper goes up. Reaper's the flanker. Fair enough, if he wants to do that. Bob gets sent in stupidly and gets ripper Uh You should be popping Bob, Bob mid-fight, not at the start of the fight. Especially, um, yeah. But because Bob gets popped... Both of your tank and DPS go in. I, I, I can see why. There's a visor. Hello, Josh. Hello, welcome in, welcome in. So there's a visor that gets popped. In a normal game, I think he would target you here. Luckily, he doesn't. Eli. Eli should turn and go straight onto them, but he doesn't. Um, the, the visor is the number one priority there, especially knowing it's behind you. Always listen to the audio cues. Uh, audio cues are massive. I can see what you've done here, Eli, but you've just done it a bit too late. When you heard the visor, you should have went into him, maybe popped your ult. 
you probably could have melted them without the ult. You probably would have survived there. But again, uh, your team are not here. You've got Kriko behind you, uh, Reaper's flanking, so you're still a bit down one. You do get melted here. Draft, you, you know this already. Uh, that was a sh stupid res. <laughs> that was a that was a stupid res. Never res into a team. Even if you got that res off, chat. Even if you got the res off, you would have died after Eli would have got melted. That is free ult charge to the enemy. Again, that is free ult charge to the enemy. So don't do that. Again, nitpicking. We've all done shitty reses. It happens. <laughs> How was your day? My day's fantastic, dude. We're just doing some Overwatch coaching right now. The lag hasn't been that bad. Oh, yeah, this is bad. <laughs> okay, Giraffe, f first, first time. I know I keep pausing this chat. You're probably like, just get on with it because I just want to criticize again. Um, when you come out of spawn, let your team go first. Look. You see Ash running. Now, Ash shouldn't be frontlining there. She should be back there. You should be healing that Ash. You know, you know, because he's frontline, he's going to take all the damage. You shouldn't be doing your pistol here, chat. You should be healing the Ash. Now, you should definitely not be going in a second a second time here. You should not be going in a second time frontlining. You've got 13 seconds on the clock. You should be waiting for your tank. I know it gets pressure and you hear the music coming in. But yeah, this is a good pop. Oh, oh pop. Eli, you should be charging in right now. You are the front line. Nah, oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna. Oh, I... How did you not die there? Uh, first of all, so you know the front line and you shouldn't be front line. And you've got 12 seconds on the clock. You know this by the. By the uh, by the, the 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 music that plays, we've got a, a very very powerful ult by Kiriko here. Eli, you shouldn't be back there. You should be frontlining. You should never be behind your team. Fair enough. I would say this is okay positioning for Mercy. Uh, Eli should have went in state there. Again, the worst thing you can do right now is pop Va uh, Valk at the front of the team. Do that. In a, in, a, in a game you, that you headshotted by there. He high noons. Honestly, you should have. You should have died off the high noon there. Uh, I, I understand, like, you know, you got out there, luckily. But again, Eli, you should have been there, son. And if you're going to pop Valk, stay away. You should have been contesting the point. Look at the time. Contest the point with Valk. Let your team come in, you know? And I know Eli should have been there, so that that's like major diff on uh, the tank eli should have went in you should have valked a lot uh like valked at the back of the team you could have touched the point but it wouldn't have made a difference in my opinion my only my only like uh critique more like overall to improve is watch the feed more giraffe watch the feed uh don't get your pistol less you shouldn't be pistol in every second and Make sure you know the beam's length. You you can be further away in some cases. Hopefully, I've helped you there. Uh, Giraffe, you've made it into a video. I like this. Do you, do you do this weekly, Coyote? Honestly, Jack, uh, this is the first time. This is my first ever game I've coached. Again, I don't want people to see it as like I've got a big ego. I think you're be I, I, I think I'm better than you. I'm just doing this because one, I can watch your games and learn from them, and two, I can teach you. Uh, again, not because I'm better, just because I've had experience on the game. I guess. Again, I'm a, I'm a plat to diamond player. Uh, there's there's tons of millions of people better than me. Uh, I just understand Overwatch enough to give my advice. Hopefully that helps you, Giraffe. Uh, you will be making into a video. Now that we do yours, your Winston game. Because, yeah, Winston's a, a little bit of a rough one for me. Oh, by the way, you've made it into a video chat, so yeah. Uh, Genji, bad dive there. Bad dive, Genji. Actually, no, that's it, Genji now. Nah. Yeah, that Genji shouldn't be there. Are we lagging here, boys? Whose clip is this? This is Nalo's. This is Nalo's. Okay, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, my first critique, boys. My first critique. Again, their Genji is... I don't know what their Genji was doing. I'm already in a few videos anyway, Tyler. Yeah, you're the star on the channel. So, they... They lost to Genji and they've lost. Well, Genji's back alive. I think he got 
Where's the, oh no, he's coming back from spawn. He's over there. So yeah, they drop, they drop a Moira. They're down a healer. So they're literally on one healer right now. So you need to capitalize on that. They're down a Genji as well. Always look at the feeds. You need to capitalize on that. So what I would do here, you're, um, you want to avoid the Reaper. You've got to fight it above the point. The, your Moira's in the worst position I've ever seen. So what you want to do here is jump point straight away. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be a. Uh, you shouldn't have been thinking about it. You should have been on there. But yeah, I, I, you done good. You done good overall. It's the right decision. Instead of being on the Zardy here, you can hear the you can hear the Genji behind you. You should be turning and focusing the Genji more. But obviously you can't the Genji here. Uh, but nice pick, nice pick. Yeah, that's right. Nice pick. Nice, nice, nice. Keep it on you. Nice. Okay, that, that's the way to do it. Well done. Well done. That was the channel for game, please, to have fun. Okay, so what you want to do here, you want to let your support push this, you want to push up. Hello, Robin, welcome to the stream. You, you want to be pushed up a little bit here. This soldier's coming in, and he's doing a bit of a madness here. You should be pushed up. Uh, again, you're not expecting the, the, the person to be out here, but just in case. I like the way you're using secondary fire. You don't see that a lot. Honestly, you could probably dive that soldier. But I can understand why you're playing it cautiously here. Because of the Reaper. Uh, okay. So, what you want to do here, Nalo, is obviously, I know you can't see through walls, but you can see the healing. You can see the healing going. You can see the Mercy Beam if you really pay attention. You see the Reaper teleporting. So, obviously, Reaper teleports to a random spot. I don't know if he's got ult or he, no, he hasn't even got ult. He's just playing the madness right now. This is perfect for you. This is a Winston player's dream right now. The 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 Reaper is not focusing you. So, what you should have done instead of di diving the tank, I know he's low. You should have went... Maybe you could... You didn't even have to dive. Just walk to the right. You can see the beams. Walk to the right and take out the supports. Again, this guy's gonna get healed unless he goes forwards. Okay, that's a bit random. Playing a little bit aggressive. Reaper's on your ass here. But notice, notice now though, again, if we go back, if we go back again, if you walked in on these supports here, you would have had jump available when Reaper turned around. So if you walk towards here, you wouldn't have used jump here. Again, in an ideal world. Nice pick though. That was a good pick. I, I will say this. That was a fantastic pick. Uh, but you see Reaper now. Jumps on cooldown. Actually, no, you've got jump right now, so you should be getting away. Somehow survived that, which is good. Yeah, that's fine. Nice, you're 100%. Nice, okay. It looks like you've won this team fight anyway, which is good. But yeah, if you would have died that support, you probably wouldn't even have to use a uh, barrage there. But yeah, that, that, you know what? Mercy should be healing you right now, honestly, but hey, we move. Mercy, make sure you heal your tanks. <laughs> okay, you, you're going in with like half health, but that's because you're healers. Nice, you're diving the back line. I like to see it. Uh, time to get out. Yep, making connections. Hey, the prop Valks, so that means you're not killing anyone. So right now, you just need to be in the tank's face, yeah? That's what we like to see. Your team's popping off. Your team's popping off right now. You, pro you probably could have killed that Mercy, but yeah, you won the team fight. But again, I will say this is my critique, because I know... Th this is like the prime example. You're sent in a game where you're just destroying everything. It's hard to coach someone because this is an anomaly. I can't really say that. You said it in a video that is... You're just rolling the enemy. You're not gonna lay off this, so make sure you send in your clips that are that are just like normal games for you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This is what people call an ego vod. It's I wouldn't say it's an ego vod. Like you obviously want to show your best gameplay off, don't you? You you want to show you get best gameplay off. Um, again, I f my my re well, honestly, I, I can still critique this game. Again, that's a diveable target. Yeah, you're nice, 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 nice. Make sure you're cleaning the stragglers here. You're nice. You're making the right decisions. Greetings. Okay, 
Um, you should be shooting at the bubble there, but it's okay. Uh, okay. Uh, bad choice. Bad choice. Okay, this is where I'm going to critique it a little bit. Um, you Audio is everything in this game, chat. I say it and I keep saying it. Audio is everything in this game. You're going in. Obviously, you shoot the Zarya bubble, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, you hear the visor. I do have another one, which is definitely a lot harder. No, I I'll do this one. This is the one you sent in, dude. Like I understand. I'm not. I'm not like shit talking anyone. I just want people to understand. Don't don't send in your best games because obviously you're gonna shit on everyone. But I can still critique this. So you hear visor right now. What you should be doing. You should. You should be. I know the Moira's low, but she's healing. Whatever. I can. I can see what you're thinking. But the visor. That is your number one priority. When a DPS go, go, oh, goes off as a dive character, if it's Soldier McCree, uh, any DPS really, except like really Bob or anyone, you need to be in there. Um, so because you didn't look around, you, di you dove the wrong target. You probably will kill her, but let's see. Your Mercy's died. You're down a healer now. Luckily, Junkrat's killed him. You possibly should still win this fight. That's a bad Mercy res. Ideally, positioning of their team F them there. That was a good visor. He took out the... Uh... But again, you should have been on it. Zari is popping off right now. Nice. Okay. Should be on the Mercy, but the Reaper's out. The Mercy's bad anyway. <laughs> so yeah, it's not bad. They're just positioning awful. She was in the correct position with, like, the soldier, but yeah. Oh, you can kill this Mercy, yeah. Mercy, no, you stick it. Right, okay. I know she died anyway. The, you are a tank. Put pressure on them. There you go. Should have done that instantly, but you're doing good. You're doing good. This should be a win here. Another critique. Again, oh, this is like top. This is like top level game now. Again, I'm not expecting you to do this in like a plat lobby or gold or whatever you are. You can see the the Junkrat on your Moira. Now, Moira should fade from this. I think she does. What you could have done here, you have your jump and your bubble up in two. Jump and bubble. That, that's what possibly you could have done there. But again, I'm not, I'm not expecting that. Uh, the Junkrat must die, though. Um, nice. She shouldn't have grabbed in the bubble, but that that's good. He's doing the- he, you're doing the right things. You just need to be faster at doing them. Hey, you're doing the right thing, yeah. I shot- shot, uh, Moira ult up anyway, so... Okay. I think- I think that's, like, a good round. Obviously, you know you've had a good round. You know- you know this game plays good. Uh, again, little critique, you could have, instead of diving over them, you could have dived to body block them, but again, it just looks like you've over jumped there, which is fine, you know. It happens. Okay, what have we got here? We've got a, a Widow, a Hog. Uh, team comp's a bit all over the place, but it's okay. Unfortunate. You know, I'm not going to criticise Hooks. I'm not going to criticise hooks because that's all down to you as a player. Um, I'll tell you when to hook and what to hook, but again, like, you know, that was just an unfortunate, like, lack of accuracy there and again. Like, no, you don't hit every hook, it's fine. Hey, right, nice pick. Uh, honestly, you should get aggressive here. Unless they have... Oh, no, they have a May wait there. They have a May, they have... Okay. Maybe he's gonna be your downfall here, but yeah. Go for the baby diva. Hooks up in one. They have a low okay. Okay, it's alright. How long have you been playing Overwatch about uh, I've been playing Overwatch since the Overwatch 1 beta. So I've put 1900 hours into the game lol. Okay. Th this is a bit of a weird game. Everyone's everywhere. You can't really critique this, like, the position of the team's wild. Okay, Rip, you might die, yeah. So, another critique, like, let me just watch this back in slow, like, like, slow motion here. Um, 
So, Diva comes in. You've got a May on you. Moira's healing you. Now, you watch the Diva dive. That's it. So, you watch Diva dive your backline here. Now, you've got, you've got two options. You've got two options. You can either hook or go for the May to get May off your back. Remember, May doesn't freeze you anymore. She only just slows you down. Or you can hook the D.Va to get him off your support. I can see why you've went for the May. The May was low. You would have killed if she had a shot, so I'm not going to critique that. You possibly could have done the, the, the D.Va there, but again, again like, quick split-second decision. I'm not, I'm not going to say that was the wrong decision. Uh, very, 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 very bad ult from Moira there. That is one of the weirdest ults. Nice kill on the May. What? I do want to say this though. Obviously, I know why she's done it. She's run out of healing. She's panicking. But, she, but as a Moira player here, you know that Hog's got a health pack. The Hog will just heal up. There's no one on it. She's panicked and run out of healing. I bet. But like you, your heals up in two, that's gonna get you back up, and she'll have it all by then. Really, what you should do now is you know they've backed off, so that means they're losing the fight. Now you should have put on pressure here. Like you should just you should instead of saying hey to the Moira, I know it was a bad ult, should just walk stay forward, then you you probably could have saved your soldier there. Because you didn't walk forward straight away, your sho shoulders uh, dead. Obviously you get the May pick, which is good. Uh it's a pick for the pick. Ideally that's good. Right now you should be just honestly walking forwards with your team. You gotta just walk stay forward there. Moira's in spawn, doing Moira things. We love to see the Moira DPS. Lovely hook there. Time to back up. Yep, that's the correct de decision. One of your team might get picked here for not backing up. But you've made the correct choice here as a tank player. You should be backed up even more, but yeah. Ooh, unlucky with the hook. Nice try, though. Right, okay, okay, this this is a this is a very very good critique here actually. I'm actually proud this has happened. Okay, now look, let me teach you something here really quick. Now I'm not, I'm not expecting you to do this in, in a in a uh, in a real game. <laughs> but let me just let me just teach you something here, because not many people know about this. So you you should be backed up more, but again I can see why you're here because of your team. Don't really know what uh how, what that wave to the moira about he was probably fuming at the time i would have been fuming go what the bloody deals the ult so you see the may coming down you try to hook her unlucky you know it happens uh, you guys should have been back here by now uh, what you could possibly do here you see the bomb coming in now this is a really really risky strat uh, remember when you take a breather actually it's on cooldown it's on cooldown, so it wouldn't have... Yeah, it wouldn't have happened. But if you saved your Taker Breaver, then uh, that reduces damage or taken by 50%. So what you could have done is went into the freeze. Now, ideally, it would have been a, a weird work. And obviously, it's on cooldown, so it, wouldn't, it doesn't matter anyway. And then you can stand in front of the frozen targets, take the bomb for them, and use like, yourself as a lamppost. Um, that, that's, that's a nice little way to tank. Nice pick on the Mercy though, that's huge, that's huge, you're in the back line now. But just know. Okay, the, the, the poor choice there. Right, you've, do, you've done so well, and you've let yourself down. You've done so well, Nalo. Hey, welcome in, Ryan. So, what you've done here, okay, you, you've caught yourself in a weird position because of the, the zone and ults. You picked the Mercy, which is a fantastic hook, and you've done the melee after, that's fantastic. But what you should do there, you see a D.Va going on in on your support, you see a soldier. What you shouldn't do now is, I know what's run through your head. You went, oh shit, I'm behind the enemy team here. Let's be sneaky and hid. Do not do this. <laughs> do not do this. You should have been behind them. Like you are a tank for the reason, and because you're back here, both of your support die to Diva, which is an L. So they're probably going to capture the point here. What you should have done is you should have walked in, and what what you would have done, what you would have done if you walked in. That would have drawed the enemy to you. Again, that would have drew the enemy to turn round. Diva might still have picked off your supports. But if you if you went in there. Again, the tire comes out. No way, chat. No way. Wait there. I've just ruined it. 
But if you walked in, you would have had a lot more time. The DPS might have turned around. Uh, gives you time to get away for the DP the, your team's DPS. So you go in here. <laughs> Boy was shit talking the chat. This is why you don't you don't type in the chat. Boy was shit talking the chat. You unfortunately die there. Massive tire. Massive tire. Get out of my face. See that's a sticky one, that one chat, because I wouldn't have whole hogged her. I would not have whole hogged. Brian, what have you missed? You've missed some coaching games. Uh, you haven't missed any of actually my games, but you've missed some coaching games. They will be up on the channel. I'll, I'll turn this into a video. Um but yeah. You sh you probably should have went in first, uh when you was behind them and all that, but hey, little cutty. Nice bubble, even though it, it didn't really evolve to nothing. Uh You're backing up, you're doing well. Could be a little bit more aggressive here. Okay. The support's acting mad. The support's moving mad here. Uh, we're not going to critique Moira because, you know, these are the Moiras in the game right now. She's just not healing you. She's just going mad. Fair enough. Whatever. So, I can see why you're scared as a tank, you know, especially if your healers are doing mad stuff. But you need to be more aggressive. Zarya has do two bubbles now. You can soak up a lot of damage before you even take damage. Uh, you should be in. Obviously, you know, you counter D.Va. You're going straight for D.Va. That's good. Moira's popped the coalescence. You need to go. They're backing up. You push. As a tank, you need to push in. You do not back up here. You're winning this. You don't back up. You never never let your Moira... Like, Moira's in a bad position anyway, but you should be even more in front of her there, even if she's in a bad position. Like, you should be... You, we can criticize the Moira there for being out of place, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. You should have been more far up. You should have been past the Moira there. Like, yeah, her position is bad, but she's waiting for the tank. So, right now it's kind of even. Oh, never mind, Mercy Res. That's lucky. Again, I can see why you're up here. Um, little critique. Little critique. Very minuscule. But you probably know this. You probably just forgot. Um, Diva there. When you're firing on Diva, chat. Don't, don't use your secondary. Use your use your primary fire here. Your primary fire goes through the de defense matrix. Your secondary fire doesn't look. So she's gonna start eating. Say she's at that one. She, she would have at that one. So what you should have done there is primary fire that be aggressive with Zardia. She's one. She is literally the best tank right now. Just be aggressive. Now you shouldn't be up here. You should not be up here for one. Okay, nice. You got lucky there. Not gonna lie. Luckily that the soldier was there. You should. Th this is that. That was bad positioning up here. Um, you've just kind of let your team like die here. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna do what I think you're gonna do? No, that was that was bad as well. Okay, I want to critique this a lot. So positioning wise, you should not be up here. Uh, you should have used your primary fire on that, on the diva. Now, obviously, I know you can't see through walls. I know you can't see f uh, through walls here. You don't know the diva's piece of scene, but you need to get out. Especially now the maze in your face, you should be backing up what you are. You should be back. You should be gone. Get out of dodge. Don't even wait. Get back to your healers there. Now, when you come around the corner, you see D.Va. Put pressure on D.Va. Junkrat unfortunately died. Now, what you want to do here, I see that your soldier is in trouble. I see that. I know you're thinking as a tank, I need to protect my team here. You've got two options. You can bubble the soldier or you can bubble yourself. What you do is the, the worst of the two options... Now this me soldier's behind. He's one. I can I can understand. He's pro he's probably gonna die there. But you've just risked your life completely. You should have bubbled yourself there, honestly. And he's gonna die anyway. He's gonna die anyway. Okay, he survived. Has he? What's the diva doing? Oh, zero point six. Okay. And he's C nine. Okay. 
But yeah, uh, my critiques for you now, again, I know you've sent in a really good game here. This is one of your better games, I understand. So I need to critique, like, the little bits here. Um, you, 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 you know what you're doing as a tank? Personally, I, I, I don't doubt that. You're a good tank, but you just need to be a little more aggressive. Believe in your support a little bit more. And I know it's hard to believe in Moira's like that. <laughs> that they're just mad, crazy, like, frontlining. Uh, but that's unfortunately what you've got. Again... I would have personally bubbled myself there, or you could have bubbled him and got behind cover, uh, but I, I understand why. Um, again, I fully understand why you've backed up, that's the correct way to do it. The soldier should have definitely died there, I don't know what was going on. But yeah, um, when you was Winston as well, I, I, I seeing that you wasn't aggressive um, as much as I would like you to be. Uh, you know, as a tank, it's all about just being the front line, getting in there, like tanking the damage and just being an absolute menace you need to be in the team's face constantly now i'm not saying run in and die on a, on you know look where your team are before you do anything but there's a lot of times there when you could have just put on the pressure and you backed off um but i understand especially at like gold and platinum you, you it's hard to trust healers it's hard to trust your team your dps popped that game i'm not gonna lie uh but yeah i think i think i think you, you're doing the right things you just need to uh, be a little bit more aggressive if that makes sense uh but anyway chat that has been coaching if you have enjoyed it again I'm going to be dropping it as a video. Hopefully people have enjoyed it. It went a little bit longer than I thought.